I'm going to show you how to tie the two half hitch. The two half hitch is an excellent hitch or not to a tie, attach a rope to a pole or any round object. This is the running end that you tie the knot with or the hitch. This is the standing part that takes the load. What you do is you wrap the running end around the shaft here, just like that. And then with the running end, Make sure to always get plenty of slack. We put it over the standing part here, and then we pass, let me get a little bit more, we pass the running end in between the first loop and what we're tying onto. Then we continue the wrap around just like this. And then with the standing part, we pass in between this top loop and the standing part, so right through here. And we're actually creating a clove hitch on the standing part of the rope. And then to dress it down, you simply tighten it up, just like that. And there you go, there is the two half hitch. And you can see it is a clove hitch simply attached to itself. Now, this particular knot or hitch is not friction friendly. It doesn't take, uh, take a position like a top line hitch, but rather it's a good hitch to tie to any sort of object and it will hold very well. I'm pulling with maximum strength and you can see it rolls a little bit, but it's not too bad. This is definitely not a life-saving knot but this is one of the scouting knots. It's featured in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, Two Half Hitches, page 94, and it shows you the structure here of the two half hitches and also how to use this. So basically, a clove hitch is tied to there. If you need a better friction knot to slide, you need the top line hitch, or if you need a wrap on a rough, you can use a timber hitch also featured in my book, so the two half hitches is a fundamental knot to know to keep in your repertoire. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.